Hey, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm getting set up for my live stream that's coming on here in about 20 minutes from now, and I had some thoughts here. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to get this stuff together and get ready for game day tomorrow because you know 1 o'clock, the Cowboys kick off. That's right, 1 o'clock, and I hate 1 o'clock games because... I got so much stuff I have to have ready because normally I end up doing my chicken wings and do the glizzies and, you know, that stuff is ready at one o'clock. If I got a pot of chili or some soup, all that's done. And then I can go through the early game and just kind of enjoy and then come back and do the big sub. Well, tomorrow it's crazy because the Giants and the Eagles play at one o'clock and the Cowboys and, and, and the Texans, you know, where we're 17 point favorites. That's like a college. Can you believe that? 17 points, 17 points in the NFL. They're basically saying their ass straight up. Now, I did find out because I did do some research that that's not the biggest like stat line this year. That's the biggest one this year. Um, but believe it or not, there was once the Colts versus um the Jaguars, they were 27-point uh, favorites. They didn't cover, though, but they were 27-point favorites. Anyway, I was just thinking because, you know, we've gone through the whole love fest with Odell Beckham Jr. and stuff and getting that thing, you know, where we were just literally like he was the savior. You know, here it is, Odell Jesus uh, coming in to save the Dallas Cowboys after 26 years of being in the Super Bowl. And it turns out it doesn't look like he's going to be ready, okay? Not anytime soon. And then he said a few things that literally just made me say, uh, Odell ain't changed. When you say, I don't need to play in regular season. I could play in regular season, but I don't need to play in regular season. So it's kind of like you're saying that our playoff position doesn't matter. Getting used to playing with the team doesn't matter. That if you could play, because literally most guys have to be held off the field. Like Micah Parsons. You remember against um, Minnesota, I think it was, he was helped off the field and was still fighting to get back out on the field. That guy was injured and still wanted to play. I remember, in fact, the very first game he played, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, a meaningless preseason game because we had four that year. He wanted to get back out there and play. See, real football players, they always want to play. Always. And for him to kind of be like, me, you know, I'll just be here for the playoffs. That's it. You're just coming in for the glory. You don't want to put in the hard work. So I'm kind of done with him. But we have the unicorn coming back. That's right. For the first time, James Washington is, is actually active for the Cowboys. I've called him a unicorn because he was the first guy we signed, but he was always injured. But here's the thing that's kind of crazy because what kind of impact can we get from James Washington? Now, you actually have to look at what we've been going through this off season, this season here. And Michael Gallup, I think we're actually looking at the evolution of Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup used to be our deep threat. You know, when we were going down the field and stuff, he was the guy that would stretch the field. Well, Michael Gallup is not that guy right now. I don't know if he's going to be that guy anymore. But what he's turned into is the possession receiver, that guy that's in traffic catching footballs that you need. You know, I need six yards, and he's going to get you eight. He's in that traffic. He doesn't necessarily have the legs to go down because if we look at what has happened with Michael Gallup is his numbers. Let me pull it up here. When you look at what he was getting before, 2018, averaged 15.4 yards um, per reception, which is huge. 507 yards. Uh, 2019 averaged 16.8 yards per catch. 1,107 yards. Then the next year, 2020, 14.3. The next year, in 2021, last year, he was injured, you know, off and on, 12.7. This year, 10.6. I'm okay with it because he still has 20, um, 28 receptions, 57% completion percentage. He's catching tough passes where there's not a lot of separation in traffic. And you got CeeDee Lamb, who is beasting. You know, he's doing really good, like 14.3 yards per reception. He is your, your big guy, but you still need the guy to stretch the field. 
and Allah, this is what I need from James Washington, you know? And, and here's the thing that's kind of funny because with Odell, having had the knee surgery last year where they literally said his knee was a ticking time bomb ready to blow up, and of course having to get it redone where he's still only 10 months out of surgery, he's not going to be that deep threat. He's not going to be able to stretch the field. Yes, he's going to bring attention, but you need somebody who can get down the field that they have to respect so that way they have to cover the whole field. And we have not had that this year. Now, we've had Noah Brown. Noah Brown is having the best year so far of his career, mainly because he's been pushed into action. He's up to 13.3 yards per reception, but he's only got 30 receptions, and he's not really stretching the field. And quite honestly, nobody's fearing nobody's fearing uh, Noah Brown. No disrespect. I mean, no disrespect. But teams are not fearing him being a game changer. Um, Cedric Wilson was beginning to develop into that guy. He needed more work with Dak to be on the same page of understanding. I need to turn to the left because that's the left shoulder that the ball's coming or to the right, vice versa. But James Washington actually has done that in past years. He has actually been a deep threat guy who can catch the football. The only problem, of course, and you look at the numbers and think about Big Ben the last couple of years, Big Ben was no longer Big Ben. Big Ben had started coming way back down to earth and not being able to get the ball downfield, especially his last year. So if, if James Washington, the unicorn, can be that guy on the outside, that number three wide receiver who can at least get downfield quick enough. And I'm talking about just, just go right now. I need you downfield right now. That is going to be something that the Cowboys have not had all season. And that's why I actually think he's going to be a better fit right now than what Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be. Odell, sorry, just done with it. Just done with it. Odell's numbers have been steadily going downhill really rapidly over the last few years and now we're talking about back-to-back -back knee surgeries and i don't want to play in regular season games and this uh, forget that you know what i want a guy who's a dog who wants to come in here and be about it you know the first one in the locker room the last one to leave and and being a gym rat a guy who wants to be out there and give it his all every single play and if I can get that from James Washington, we're going to be okay. And so with that being said, hope I see you guys at 5 o'clock during our regular live stream. And uh, i got to get the place ready for tomorrow. So I've got the, got the pledge here and the, the dust cloth and stuff and, and all that. And the vacuum, because we get kicked off tomorrow early. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I appreciate y'all. Peace.